The rise of hydrogen storage marks a new era for energy. Hydrogen is a promising energy carrier for a cleaner future. Storing it safely and efficiently is crucial for its widespread adoption. Traditional storage methods have limitations. Composite pressure vessels, especially type 4 cylinders, offer a significant improvement. These cylinders are lightweight and strong. They can store hydrogen at high pressures, making them ideal for various applications. The demand for efficient hydrogen storage is growing rapidly. The transportation sector is a major driver of this demand. Fuel cell vehicles require high-density hydrogen storage. Type 4 cylinders meet this need effectively. They offer a higher storage capacity compared to other types, which translates to a longer driving range for fuel cell vehicles. Furthermore, the lightweight nature of these cylinders improves fuel efficiency, reducing the overall energy consumption. Beyond transportation, Type 4 cylinders have other applications. They are used in portable power devices and stationary hydrogen storage systems. The versatility of these cylinders makes them an attractive solution. They contribute to the development of a hydrogen-based economy. Continuous research and development are essential to further improve the performance and safety of these cylinders. As technology advances, we can expect even better performance. New materials and manufacturing processes are being explored, leading to lighter and stronger cylinders that also enhance safety aspects. The future of hydrogen storage looks promising. Type 4 cylinders play a vital role in this exciting journey. They offer a safe and efficient way to store this clean energy carrier, paving the way for a sustainable future. Hydrogen cylinders are categorized into different types based on their construction materials. Type 2 cylinders are made of metal and have a hoop-wrapped composite reinforcement. Type 3 cylinders use a metal liner and are fully wrapped with composite material. Type 4 cylinders have a plastic liner reinforced with carbon fiber composite. Type 5 cylinders are all composite and do not have a metal liner. Each type has its own advantages and disadvantages. Type 2 cylinders are relatively inexpensive but heavy. Type 3 cylinders offer a better strength to weight ratio but are more expensive than Type 2. Type 5 cylinders are the lightest, yet they are also the most expensive. Type 4 cylinders strike a balance between cost and performance. Type 4 cylinders are becoming increasingly popular. They are the preferred choice for many applications due to their high storage capacity and lightweight design. They are also safer than metal cylinders because they are less prone to catastrophic failure. The composite material absorbs more energy during an impact. The choice of cylinder type depends on the specific application. Factors such as cost, weight, and performance are considered. For applications requiring high storage density and lightweight, Type 4 cylinders are often the best option. They offer a reliable and efficient solution for hydrogen storage. Their increasing popularity reflects their effectiveness. Ongoing research aims to further improve their performance. Type 4. Hydrogen cylinders are made of advanced materials. The inner liner is typically a high-density polyethylene, or HDPE, polymer. This polymer is chosen for its excellent barrier properties, minimizing hydrogen permeation. The outer layer is a carbon fiber reinforced polymer, or CFRP. This provides the necessary strength to withstand high pressures. The combination of these materials results in a lightweight and robust cylinder. Hydrogen permeation is a critical concern in cylinder design. Hydrogen molecules are very small and can diffuse through some materials, leading to pressure loss and safety issues. The HDPE liner acts as a barrier, preventing hydrogen from escaping through the cylinder walls. The thickness and quality of the liner are crucial as they determine the permeation rate. The CFRP layer provides structural integrity reinforcing the liner and withstanding the internal pressure. The carbon fibers are arranged in specific patterns to optimize the strength and stiffness of the cylinder. The choice of resin and fiber type is important as it affects the overall performance of the cylinder. Careful material selection ensures long-term durability and safety. The manufacturing process also plays a role in permeation control. Proper bonding between the liner and CFRP is essential. Any defects or voids can create pathways for hydrogen permeation. Quality control measures are implemented throughout the manufacturing process to ensure the integrity of the cylinder.
Advanced techniques are used to detect and prevent defects, contributing to the safety and reliability of the final product. Section 4. Manufacturing Type 4 Cylinders Filament Winding and Curing Manufacturing Type 4 Cylinders involves precise processes. Filament winding is a key technique. It involves wrapping carbon fiber around a mandrel. The mandrel is a mold that defines the shape of the cylinder. The carbon fiber is impregnated with a resin. This resin binds the fibers together. The winding process is carefully controlled. It ensures uniform fiber distribution and tension. After winding, the cylinder undergoes a curing process. Curing involves heating the cylinder in a controlled environment. This allows the resin to harden. It creates a strong and rigid structure. The curing temperature and duration are critical parameters. They influence the final properties of the composite material. Precise control of these parameters ensures optimal performance. Filament winding offers several advantages. It allows for precise control over fiber placement. This enables the creation of complex shapes and optimized designs. It also results in a high strength to weight ratio. This is crucial for hydrogen storage applications. The automated nature of the process ensures consistency and quality. The curing process is equally important. It determines the final mechanical properties of the cylinder. Proper curing ensures that the resin fully hardens. This creates a strong bond between the fibers. The curing process can be time-consuming. However, it is essential for achieving the desired performance and safety of the cylinder. Advanced curing techniques are being developed. These aim to reduce curing time and improve efficiency. Section 5. Designing for strength and lightness. Lamination theory and FEA. Designing Type 4 cylinders requires careful consideration. Strength and weight are critical factors. Classical lamination theory, or CLT, is a useful tool. It helps to predict the mechanical behavior of composite materials. CLT considers the properties of individual layers. It also considers their orientation and stacking sequence. This allows engineers to optimize the design for maximum strength. Finite element analysis, or FEA, is another powerful tool. It provides a more detailed analysis of the cylinder's behavior under pressure. FEA simulates the stresses and strains in the cylinder. This helps to identify potential weak points. It also allows for the optimization of the design. FEA is used to ensure that the cylinder can withstand the operating pressures. The combination of CLT and FEA allows for efficient design. CLT provides a quick initial assessment of the laminate properties. FEA provides a more detailed and accurate analysis. This iterative design process ensures that the cylinder meets the required performance criteria. It also minimizes weight without compromising safety. The design process also considers other factors. These include material selection, manufacturing processes and cost. The design must meet all relevant safety standards. It must also be cost-effective to manufacture the design process is a complex undertaking. It requires expertise in various disciplines. This ensures that the final product is safe, reliable and efficient. Section 6. Ensuring safety and reliability, testing and inspection. Testing and inspection are crucial for Type 4 cylinders. They ensure the safety and reliability of the final product. Various tests are performed throughout the manufacturing process. These tests evaluate the mechanical properties of the cylinder. They also assess its resistance to permeation and leaks. Burst testing is a critical test. It determines the maximum pressure the cylinder can withstand. Pressure cycle testing is another important test. It simulates the repeated filling and emptying of the cylinder. 
This helps to assess the long-term durability of the cylinder. Non-destructive testing, or NDT, methods are used to detect defects. These methods include ultrasonic inspection and radiography. They allow for the inspection of the cylinder without damaging it. NDT ensures that any defects are identified and addressed. Regular inspections are essential even after the cylinder is in service. These inspections help to detect any damage or degradation. They ensure that the cylinder remains safe to use. Visual inspections are performed to check for external damage. Pressure tests are conducted to verify the integrity of the cylinder. Proper maintenance and inspection procedures are crucial. They extend the lifespan of the cylinder. The testing and inspection process is rigorous. It follows strict guidelines and standards. This ensures that type 4 hydrogen cylinders meet the highest safety requirements. This rigorous process provides confidence in the safety and reliability of these cylinders. It allows for their widespread adoption in various applications. This contributes to the growth of the hydrogen economy.